In this video we're going to look at dissolved nutrients and how they are carried in the blood. In particular we're going to look at carbon dioxide, oxygen, water, lipids, salts, waste and other things. Firstly carbon dioxide. Now carbon dioxide is carried in the blood in three different ways. There's two minor ways being that it's dissolved in the plasma. However, not much of the carbon dioxide can be dissolved in plasma because as temperature increases, carbon dioxide's ability to dissolve in water decreases. Uh, there's another few percent that are bound to the hemoglobin, the hemoglobin found on the red blood cells. And when they bind, they form a molecule called carbaminohemoglobin. Uh, so that's found on the red blood cells. But the main way that carbon dioxide is moved around the body is by being converted to bicarbonate ions in water. Now bicarbonate ions form when a reversible reaction occurs between carbon dioxide and water, which is in the plasma, to form carbonic acid. And that carbonic acid then dissolves in the plasma to form the bicarbonate ion as well as hydronium ions, or the H+. Now because this is creating H plus ions, it actually makes the solution, in this case being the plasma, a more acidic. Uh, so for this reason, carbon dioxide levels need to be regulated quite tightly. And it's one of the main ways that blood pH is kept constant through uh, having a constant amount of carbon dioxide in the blood. Oxygen can also be found dissolved in the plasma. However, this isn't a very efficient way to move oxygen around the body. Most animals have uh, on their red blood cells hemoglobin, and the oxygen is able to bind to this hemoglobin to create the compound oxyhemoglobin. And this actually gives the oxygen, and, or the efficiency of carrying oxygen, uh, about a 70 times boost. Now water is a pretty easy one. Water is carried in the plasma and in fact about 90% of plasma is made up of water. And this is very important because that plasma and the water in it uh, create a solvent for some of the other substances that are carried around in the blood. And we've already talked about carbon dioxide and oxygen being dissolved in that plasma. So that's the water in the plasma that's doing that dissolving. Now lipids, and you'll remember that lipids are fat and oils, uh, so therefore they are not able to be dissolved in water. So they're transported in special complexes called chylomicrons. And these are phospho uh, lipoprotein, uh, basically balls. Uh, so they have lipids on the inside of them, okay, similar to the phospholipid bilayer uh, found in cells. They have the, their hydro phobic tails on the inside and lipids are able to dissolve into these hydrophobic tails on the inside of these particles and move around the body with those. Salts are carried around the body as dissolved ions. So for example, when sodium chloride dissolves in the plasma, it dissolves into the sodium ion and the chloride ion and they are able to hitch a ride on the plasma and move around the body in that way. Now nitrogenous wastes are caused as a byproduct of the metabolism and they are mostly carried as urea that is dissolved in the plasma. And there's a few other molecules that need to be transported around the body, uh, for example glucose, and these are found as their separate molecules, so for example glucose mo molecules, and they are also dissolved in the plasma. As I said, the plasma, uh, being 90% water, is a great solvent for a lot of these molecules. In this video, we've looked at the different substances that are found in the blood and how they are transported around the body. We've looked at carbon dioxide, which is mainly in bicarbonate ions, oxygen, which is bound to the hemoglobin as oxyhemoglobin, water, which is in the plasma, lipids, which are found in chylomicrons, salts, which are dissolved in the plasma and carried as ions, nitrogenous waste found as urea, and other things that are found pretty much as themselves dissolved in the plasma.